Leonard Siskind is the Felix Bloch Professor of Theoretical Physics at Stanford University, and Director of the Stanford Institute for Theoretical Physics. His research interests include string theory, quantum field theory, quantum statistical mechanics and quantum cosmology. He is a member of the National Academy of Sciences of the USA, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, an associate member of the faculty of Canada's Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics, and a distinguished professor of the Korea Institute for Advanced Study. Siskind is widely regarded as one of the fathers of string theory, having, with Yoichiro Nambu and Holger Bech Nielsen, independently introduced the idea that particles could in fact be states of excitation of a relativistic string. He was the first to introduce the idea of the string theory landscape in 2003. Siskind was awarded the 1998 J.J. Sakurai Prize. Early life and education, born Leonard Siskind to a Jewish family from the South Bronx section of New York City, he now resides in Palo Alto, California. He began working as a plumber at the age of 16, taking over from his father who had become ill. Later, he enrolled in the City College of New York as an engineering student, graduating with a B.S. in physics in 1962. In an interview in the Los Angeles Times, Siskind recalls the moment he discussed with his father this change in career path, when I told my father I wanted to be a physicist, he said, a euro hell no. You are in a Euro unregistered trademark T going to work in a drugstore a Euro unregistered trademark I said no, not a pharmacist. I said, a Euro like Einstein a Euro unregistered trademark he poked me in the chest with a piece of plumbing pipe. A Euro you are in a Euro unregistered trademark T going to be no engineer a Euro unregistered trademark, he said. A Euro Yao a Euro unregistered trademark re going to be Einstein a Euro unregistered trademark Siskin then studied at Cornell University under Peter A. Carruthers where he earned his Ph.D. in 1965. He has been married twice, first in 1960, and has four children. Career, Siskind was an assistant professor of physics, then an associate professor at Yeshiva University, after which he went for a year at the University of Tel Aviv returning to Yeshiva to become a professor of physics. Since 1979 he has been professor of physics at Stanford University, and since 2000 has held the Felix Bloch Professorship of Physics. Siskind was awarded the 1998 J.J. Sakurai Prize for his pioneering contributions to hadronic string models, lattice gauge theories, quantum chromodynamics, and dynamical symmetry breaking. Siskind's hallmark, according to colleagues, has been the application of brilliant imagination and originality to the theoretical study of the nature of the elementary particles and forces that make up the physical world. In 2007, Siskin joined the faculty of Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, as an associate member. He has been elected to the National Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. He is also a distinguished professor at Korea Institute for Advanced Study. Scientific career, Siskind was one of at least three physicists who independently discovered during or around 1970 that the Veneziano dual resonance model of strong interactions could be described by a quantum mechanical model of strings, and was the first to propose the idea of the string theory landscape. Siskind has also made contributions in the following areas of physics the independent discovery of the string theory model of particle physics, the theory of quark confinement, the development of Hamiltonian lattice gauge theory, the theory of scaling violations in deep inelastic electroproduction, the theory of symmetry breaking sometimes known as technicolor theory, the second, yet independent, theory of cosmological baryogenesis, string theory of black hole entropy, the principle of black hole complementarity, the causal patch hypothesis, the holographic principle, M-theory, including development of the BFSS matrix model, Gutsuskind Fermans, introduction of holographic entropy bounds in physical cosmology. The idea of an anthropic string theory landscape, the census taker's hat, books, Siskind is the author of several popular science books. The Cosmic Landscape The Cosmic Landscape String Theory and the Illusion of Intelligent Design is Siskind's first popular science book, published by Little, 
Brown and Company on December 12, 2005. It is Siskin's attempt to bring his idea of the anthropic landscape of string theory to the general public. In the book, Siskin describes how the string theory landscape was an almost inevitable consequence of several factors, one of which was Steven Weinberg's prediction of the cosmological constant in 1987. The question addressed here is why our universe is fine-tuned for our existence. Siskind explains that Weinberg calculated that if the cosmological constant was just a little different, our universe would cease to exist. The Black Hole War The Black Hole War, my battle with Stephen Hawking to make the world safe for quantum mechanics is Siskind's second popular science book, published by Little, Brown, and Company on July 7, 2008. The book is his most famous work and explains what he thinks would happen to the information and matter stored in a black hole when it evaporates. The book sparked from a debate that started in 1981, when there was a meeting of physicists to try to decode some of the mysteries about how particles of particular elemental compounds function. During this discussion Stephen Hawking stated that the information inside a black hole is lost forever as the black hole evaporates. It took 28 years for Leonard Siskind to formulate his theory that would prove Hawking wrong. He then published his theory in his book, The Black Hole War. Like the cosmic landscape, the black hole war is aimed at the lay reader. He writes, the real tools for understanding the quantum universe are abstract mathematics, infinite dimensional Hilbert spaces, projection operators, unitary matrices and a lot of other advanced principles that take a few years to learn. But let's see how we do in just a few pages. The Theoretical Minimum Book Series, Siskind is currently co-authoring a series of companion books to his lecture series The Theoretical Minimum. The first of these, The Theoretical Minimum, What You Need to Know to Start Doing Physics, was published in 2013 and presents the modern formulations of classical mechanics. The second of these, Quantum Mechanics, The Theoretical Minimum was published in February 2014. The next book is expected to focus on special relativity. The Theoretical Minimum Lecture Series, Siskin teaches a series of Stanford Continuing Studies courses about modern physics referred to as the Theoretical Minimum. These lectures later formed the basis for the books of the same name. The goal of the courses is to teach the basic but rigorous theoretical foundations required to study certain areas of physics. The sequence covers classical mechanics, relativity, quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, and cosmology, including the physics of black holes. These courses are available on the Theoretical Minimum website, on iTunes, and on YouTube. The courses are intended for the mathematically literate public as well as physical science mathematics students. Siskin aims the courses at people with prior exposure to algebra, calculus vectors, differential calculus, integrals, and perhaps differential operators, matrices, and linear equations. Homework and study outside of class is otherwise unnecessary. Siskind explains most of the mathematics used, which form the basis of the lectures. Smolina euro siskin debate, the smolin siskin debate refers to the series of intense postings in 2004 between Lee Smolin and Siskind concerning Smolina Euro unregistered trademark s argument that the anthropic principle cannot yield any falsifiable predictions, and therefore cannot be a part of science. It began on July 26, 2004, with Smolin's publication of Scientific Alternatives to the Anthropic Principle. Smolin emailed Siskind asking for a comment. Having not had the chance to read the paper, Siskind requested a summarization of his arguments. Smolin obliged and on July 28, 2004, Siskind responded, saying that the logic Smolin followed can lead to ridiculous conclusions. The next day, Smolin responded, saying that if a large body of our colleagues feels comfortable believing a theory that cannot be proved wrong, then the progress of science could get stuck, leading to a situation in which false, but unfalsifiable theories dominate the attention of our field. This was followed by another paper by Siskind which made a few comments about Smolin's theory of cosmic natural selection. The Smolin-Siskind debate finally ended with each of them agreeing to write a final letter which would be posted on Edge, with three conditions attached, no more than one letter each. 
neither sees the other's letter in advance. No changes after the fact. See also, superstring theory, quantum chromodynamics, supersymmetry, Suskinda Euro Glogauer operator, list of theoretical physicists, Koguta Euro Suskind Fermans, Fischler a Euro Suskind mechanism, Boris Pregel, references. Further reading, Chown, Marcus, Our World May Be a Giant Hologram, New Scientist, January 15, 2009, Magazine Issue 2691. The holograms you find on credit cards and banknotes are etched on two dimensional plastic films. When light bounces off them, it recreates the appearance of a 3D image. In the 1990s physicists Leonard Susskind and Nobel Prize winner Gerard T. Hooft suggested that the same principle might apply to the universe as a whole. Our everyday experience might itself be a holographic projection of physical processes that take place on a distant, 2D surface. External links, Leonard Susskind's faculty page, Susskind's blog, Physics for Everyone, the theoretical minimum website, with the full set of free lectures, radio interview, Leonard Susskind discusses his life as a physicist, string theory and the holographic principle on the 7th Avenue Project radio show, The Edge, interview with Leonard Susskind. Smolin vs. Susskind, The Anthropic Principle Susskind and Lee Smolin debate The Anthropic Principle. Radio interview from This Week in Science March 14, 2006 broadcast, Father of String Theory Muses on the Megavs podcast, Leonard Siskind at the Internet Movie Database, Leonard Siskind, my friend Richard Feynman on YouTube, a TED Talk.